All right, hopping right into parent constraints, we're going to drag and drop our game object onto our avatar's base. Right click it and unpack prefab completely. Press R, scale it down. Now we're going to create an empty game object and we're going to call this your object's name and then world after that. In my case, we're going to name this bread world. Then we'll right click and create an empty game object again. Press F2 to rename and I'm calling this bread container. We'll drag and drop our bread into our container and then we're going to select bread world. We'll head over and add a component and click parent constraint and we're going to add a source to this. Next, we'll create another empty game object. Press F2 and we're going to rename this to world transform. We'll head up to our transform component and we'll zero things out. Now we'll head back to our hierarchy, drag and drop this into our folder to create a prefab, and then delete the object and the hierarchy. Next, we'll click on bread world and we're going to drag and drop our world transform prefab into our parent constraint source. Don't forget to zero it out and we'll use this alongside the contact system next video. Next, we're going to head to our container and we're going to create a parent constraint for this and we're going to add two sources to it. Now we'll head to our avatar's armature and we're going to create our holster location and our hand location. I selected my hips here and I'm going to call this bread holster. Next, I'll use my right wrist and I'll create another empty game object and we'll rename this to bread hand. We're going to drag and drop both of these game objects into our parent constraint, starting with holster and then hand, and we're going to zero out the hand's weight. And then we'll also zero out the objects themselves, which will activate the parent constraint. Move your object holster to the location that you want on your avatar. Then we're going to create our animations. And we're going to create a bread on toggle. We'll also be creating a bread off toggle. And then we'll also need to create a bread holster location and a bread hand location animation. We'll make a new layer and we will call this one bread toggle. Make sure that your layer weight is set to one. And then we'll also make a layer for our object motion, which I call bread motion and make sure that its weight is also set to one. Drag and drop your off and on animations into your toggle layer. And we're going to create a new bool. I'm going to call this bread toggle. We'll use this for our transitions, zero out the exit time and the fixed duration. And we're going to add a condition that's bread toggle. And when it's set to true, it'll turn on our animation. And when it's set to false, it'll turn it off. Next, we'll record our animations for our bread. So we'll go to bread off. We'll click the record button. Make sure you select your game object and toggle it off with the checkbox. We'll head down and we will click to the second keyframe and add keyframe, stop recording. Go to our bread on animation, click record, head up to it, turn it off and back on. Add our second keyframe and click the record button. Nice, it works. Now we're going to make an empty clip that we'll use for avatar dynamics in the next video. We'll drag and drop this into our motion layer. We'll select the animation, click record, and we're just going to toggle off any game object. It doesn't matter what. And we'll create a second keyframe. We'll stop recording. We'll click this object, press F2 and name it to something that doesn't exist. It should turn yellow if you did this correct. Next, we'll drag in our bread hand and our bread holster. And we'll create a transition from the empty clip to the holster and then between the holster and the hand. Make sure that there is exit time and it's zero from empty clip to the holster. And then in between our holster and hand animations, we'll make sure that everything is zeroed out. We'll make sure that bread toggle is turned on as a condition. And we'll make sure that gesture right equals one, which is our fist gesture to transition to hand. Then for going back, we'll make sure that gesture right is equal to two, or you can set it to not equal one. This way it'll transition back to bread holster. Next, we're going to go and we're going to record our animations. So we'll click on bread holster and click the record button, go to our bread container, and we'll change bread holster from zero to one, and then bread hand from one to zero. 
and we'll toggle the parent constraint on and off and make a second keyframe. We'll head up to bread hand, click record, and we're going to do the same thing. Bread holster to zero, bread hand to one, toggle our parent constraint off and back on and create our second keyframe. Click the record button, preview, and our bread toggles on and off. And it also moves to and from our hand. Nice, we've made a parent constraint. And I'll be expanding upon this in the next video with Avatar Dynamics. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.